Hi everyone! Welcome to Artsonia's After School Art Club. Today we have a fun art project from Miss Toops, an art teacher from Texas. Hope you enjoy the video and don't forget to have your artwork uploaded to your Artsonia gallery. Hi, I'm Mrs. Toops. I teach at First Baptist Academy in Houston, Texas. Let's see what our project is for today. For today's project, we're going to be creating this really fun bursting sun. Now, I did this one as a card. We're going to do one as a flat painting today. But if you wanted to do a card, you would just do it on a part of the card, fold the card in half, and then you'd only work on this side. Let's get started. To start this project, you're going to need tape, ruler, wax paper, paper for painting, scissors, sharpie, water, paintbrush, and paints. Now the paper I'm using is actually really thick paper. You don't want to use copy paper because the copy paper will be too thin. All right, let's go ahead and get started with our masking piece. So for this project, we're gonna start with the small piece of waxing paper, and we're gonna start with painter's tape. Now painter's tape usually comes in blue. Mine just happens to be green. I'm gonna start by creating a layer of painter's tape and I'm just gonna cut off pieces. Now I wanna overlap them. Overlap means one's gonna go on top of the other just slightly. You'll notice that it's just a slightly darker color right there. I'm gonna keep going. I need it to be big enough for my son. I'm gonna go with one more piece after this one and then I think I'll be good. Last piece. Here we go. They don't all need to be the same so, uh, length, but this is the area I'm going to be working with. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that tape again, put it back on my green mask, and I'm going to just trace around the tape halfway. Perfect. Then I'm going to take a ruler and draw a straight line from the two ends of the circle that I stopped at. Now you don't have to draw a sun. You could maybe draw a different shape, like a, a heart would be a good one, or you could draw maybe a square if you wanted to put a message in it, the end. I'm doing the sun because I think the bursting sun looks really nice, but this technique can be used with any kind of mask you decide to create. Now the reason we're using painter's tape instead of regular tape like scotch tape is because painter's tape is not as sticky. So it's not gonna stick to the paper just like a uh, scotch tape would. All right, we're done with that. And now what I've created basically is a sticker. So here's my wax paper and there's my sun. I'm gonna take my big paper, my painting paper, bring that back and I'm gonna peel off the sticker from the back and I'm gonna place it at the very bottom in the center of the paper. Now you wanna make sure you get all the way to the bottom because you don't want any paint down there. I missed it, so I'm gonna gently peel it off and try again. There we go. And then I'm just gonna press down, just like that. All right, we're ready for paint. So I'm gonna take, and I've already pre-moistened, which means I put water in each of the colors I'm gonna use, and I've already got my paintbrush ready. So I'm gonna start with yellow. Now, yellow is usually the color we think of when we think of the sun. So I'm gonna start with yellow. I'm gonna start on top of the green mask and I'm just gonna whoosh myself off of the mask onto the paper, just like this. Go back for some more paint. Now you can make them as long or short as you like them and you can make as many as you want. You can make and use different colors if you like. I'm gonna switch over to another color. You could use warm colors only if you wanted. And go with orange. Sometimes I create the whoosh sound effect. Whoosh, whoosh. Makes it just a little bit more fun. I'm gonna switch over to another color. I'm gonna go with red next. Now if I were only using warm colors, red, yellow, and orange are all warm colors. Now these are the colors we typically think of when we think of the sun. And I just go in and fill in some spots. No big deal if I overlap them. Now if I were doing warm colors, I would stop right here and I would be done. 
But since we're using really colorful colors like rainbow colors, I'm going to go on to my next color. You can do them in any order because it really won't matter. And I'm just going to swoosh, swoosh. This is such a fun and colorful project. But like I said, if you decided to do a different shape, you could absolutely do this with maybe a heart in the middle and then you could swish out from all the different angles of the heart. Go on to purple. Now the great thing about masks is that you can use them for all different kinds of things. Maybe there's a part of a painting you don't want to get painted. You could use a mask. I'm going to move on to blue. You can already see how colorful it's starting to become. The blue is so bright and vivid. I like this one. I got a little sprinkle there, but that's okay. All right. Maybe one more right there. I'm going to do a last color. I'm going to go ahead and use a lime green. And I can fill it in anywhere I like. If I accidentally get some color on my brush, I just simply rinse it off and go back to my color. And that'll happen towards the end because you already got a lot of color down here. Maybe two more greens. One right here. And one right here. There we go. I love it. All right, this next part, you're going to need a paper towel. Forgot to mention that just to kind of dab up some here so that we can you won't need the paper towel if you just let it sit and dry but you will need the paper towel if you want if you're so excited and you want to get under there to see what it turned out like so i'm just going to wipe some of the paint off of my mask so we can see what it looks like there we go and now i'm going to gently peel again if you wait until it's dry It'll be easier to do this next step. To be careful not to get paint in that white part. There you go. That looks amazing. I love it. I would frame it just like this. I hope you guys enjoyed this project. Have a great day.